Hello, welcome to the installation of Exchange 2010. I have already created uh, this computer uh, as a domain controller, as you can see it. Uh, so there are some prerequisites for installing Exchange 2010. We will be uh, actually uh, go step by step installing Exchange 2010. Well, there are some other some things that we need to take care of first. Uh, okay, admin account. Uh, let's go for the whole thing. There are some uh, prerequisites on the web. I've already opened it. Um, <clears throat> we're we're going to go for our two operating system prerequisites. You see, there are some commands that needs to be install. Uh, that needs to be issued uh, prior installing Exchange 2010. We're coming on to that. Okay, let's head for the uh, Windows preparations. Administrator account must have um, some privileges. Okay, member of. Make sure that your admin account has enterprise admins and schema admins because we're going to prepare these things first and there are one other thing is sites and services okay this is our default default first site okay in the subnet we're going to create our new subnet according to our network interfaces and our local network. That's that we one nine two one six eight dot one dot zero slash twenty four and it's okay. That's the first site name. We need to uh, change that name to Dhaka. Okay, this is our uh, capital of Bangladesh okay now we can change new subnet okay 192.168.1.0 slash 24 that's our prefix that's assigned to Taka. okay then and one other thing that we need to go through is NTTS check the properties that it's the global catalog server so you know that where you're installing your server I'm installing the server on the domain controller but uh, there are installation mm, the, there are Microsoft somewhere mentioned that I shouldn't be installing uh, exchange server on a domain controller and that's that's very true but I'm trying I'm doing it for the training purposes and so that I can do it in a, in a, in one instance, okay. So, global catalog server and admin privileges are checked. Now we are going for uh, the setup. Prepare schema from Exchange CD. I'm going to the CD. Backslash Oops. I'm going to the D drive C D soft slash exchange two thousand ten evaluation. Now we're going to run these things. As you can see We're going to copy the prepare schema. Yes. There's a new thing that press any key to cancel the setup. It's actually, if, if you hit any key, it will cancel the setup. So have patience and wait for the, uh, wait for the uh, prepare schema command to continue. 
it will take some time <coughs> Welcome back. As you can see, the command completed, and let's run. Uh, let's open up another command prompt, and let's run the mob server as a prepare Active Directory command. Previously, we issued the prepare schema. It's completed. Extending the directory schema completed. Organizational checks completed. Okay. Now we are running Okay, sorry. Uh, oops. Exchange two thousand ten. Okay, let's just go there first. Run the command. The mobs SRV, uh, the organization name would be your server name, not your domain controller. Again, press any key to cancel setup, wait for it to start the process. It will take, again, it will take some time. I'm going to pause the video. Let's start it first. I'm going to pause the video and then I will again come back and describe the whole thing. Okay, the command has been completed successfully. Organization pre preparation is completed. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to run another command <clears throat> that will uh, prepare all domains. Okay. Again, press any key to cancel setup. First, we issued the command uh, prepare schema. There it is. It took quite some time to complete all this process. We'll let you see the whole thing. As you can see, it's not actually uh, primary. Primarily, it actually gives you a warning, a uh, warning or something. Uh, that warning it in an informational warning it says that after uh, doing all these things you cannot be install uh, you cannot install Windows Server uh, Exchange Server 2003 or Exchange Server 2007 basically that's what it actually means that's it. this is this is it so let's wait for a couple of minutes to finish the setup. Okay, the command has been completed with the prepare all domains command. And <clears throat> we're going to go for uh, the partial commands that needs to be issued. Okay, import model server manager. It's done. Then set service type and at TCP port sharing automatic. And now what we have to do is we already done this one as we're going to do a typical installation of client access, hub transport, and mailbox server roles. We're going to issue this commandlet. Let's copy 
exit except for the restart part it will install uh, all the necessary modules <coughs> and uh, I think it's a good idea uh, if, if, if you please go through all the sections that needs to be uh, pointed out you could install all the servers and everything in different uh, member member servers like client access server, hub transport server, and mailbox server. These should be installed in three different machines, <coughs> uh, which must be in a uh, member server. But the trick is with the uh, edge server, edge 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 server role. It can be installed in a member server, and also it can be installed in a uh, in a workgroup server so um, so restart the finish the installation process we're almost done with the prerequisites now we're ready to install uh, exchange server I'm going to restart the machine sit back and we will be right back